Good morning, members of the committee. I call this meeting of the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry to order. As our first order of business, it is only right that we recognize and appreciate and honor our chairwoman of the past four years and the tremendous amount of good work she accomplished during a very, very difficult time. Senator Stabenow is a dedicated and sometimes even fierce leader of agriculture policy whose tenacity successfully carried a farm bill across the goal line when many believed it just simply couldn't be done. At times we, have made, we may have disagreed on certain aspects of the policy, that's to be sure, but we always agreed, we always agreed on the importance of providing the stability to America's producers and that only comes with a five-year bill. Madam Chairwoman Emeritus, as a sign of our appreciation of your service, we present to you the Chairwoman's gavel, the same gavel used, you used to keep us all in line. There are several dents on the uh, gavel. Wonderful. Please Thank don't hit me with that again. Yeah. <laughs> That's really terrific. Thank you. And while he is. Senator Bennett just missed this. Mr. Chairman, we, I apologize. I, I Are you a member of this committee, Michael? I, I seem Did to recall that. Did you let me back on? Yes, yeah. indeed. Thank you. I just received the gavel. Yes, the gavel that uh, we, we used to knock out the, the bar bill. So thank you, Matt. We are also. Um, we also have the sound up too far. We also want to present you with this picture. Um. This is obviously you whispering uh, advice to me at the appropriate time. I am awake in this you picture. You are awake. That's right. actually quite impressive. It yes. said, Madam yeah. Chairman, Chairwoman, pardon me, appreciate your always good advice. Cherry trees forever. Yeah. Have our Thank you. Thank we have another. You very much. You're giving me, you're now, giving me too many things here. Now, just to show. Yeah just to show that there were times when uh, it wasn't so serious and we did get along. Must have been funny, best wishes, Pat Roberts, and you're <laughs> absolutely... I'm, I'm enthralled. You're enthralled. Yes, yes, that's great. That's, that's uh, I wouldn't have thought of that word, I appreciate that. <laughs> and you're putting these in your office? Is that <laughs> no, you can do... Uh, with all due respect and, yeah. and with uh, some degree great. of hesitancy, you can do with them what you would like. <laughs> well, thank you. I we, would all, place of honor. we would also be uh, uh, deficient if we did not uh, state a well-deserved thank you to our appropriations chairman and my friend, uh, Chairman Cochran, for leading the loyal minority side of this committee over the past two years. Agriculture is certainly fortunate to have an appropriations chairman with such experience and a knowledge of the challenges facing our producers, and so we want to thank that as well. I am both humbled and honored to serve as your chairman, uh, the first in modern history, I am told, to have held the gavel for this illustrious committee in both the House and the Senate. The Agriculture Committee has a long history of caring more about the issues than the ideology more about the people than the party. It is in this spirit of service that I will guide our committee's work with three principles in mind. The first is that this committee will be the platform for America's farmers, ranchers, small business, and rural communities, school children and the hungry, to raise their concerns. Too often I have heard from my constituents that they feel ruled and not governed. We will work to ensure that the voices of our constituents are heard by their government. We will be their champion. Second, this committee, we'll, uh, we will conduct thorough and vigorous oversight of the activities of the departments and agency within our jurisdiction and those that impact our constituents. It is our responsibility to ensure that our government operates efficiently, effectively, and in a responsible manner uh, to our taxpayers. And finally, this committee will conduct its legislative business in an open and transparent way that provides our members opportunities to work across the aisle for the betterment of our constituents. 
As we look around this committee, we see a wealth of experience in former uh, current chairs of not only our committee but others in the Senate, as well as a welcome infusion of new blood. I welcome Senator David Perdue of Georgia, Senator er <coughs> Joni Ernst of Iowa, who will be introducing uh, a, uh, a witness as along with David, and Senator Ben Sass from Nebraska to the committee, and Tom Tillis, uh, also from North Carolina. I have met with each of these members. We've gone over their priorities, and I'm excited about the fresh ideas and the enthusiasm that they will bring uh, to our challenges. And we have a great challenge ahead of us in this Congress, but I am confident with all of your help we will succeed. Now, today's hearing is a little unique and a little special. Not only are we, be are, not only are we beginning our work in this new Congress, but we are also going about things just a little differently. Today, we will conduct our first oversight hearing of the one-year-old Farm Bill by hearing from farmers, i.e. producers, first then the administration. It is my hope that our witnesses will be able to bring forward testimony of their challenges and successes of the new Farm Bill, and that then we and the Secretary will work to address the challenges raised by our four witnesses and by others who have reached out to our committee members. We want to especially thank Secretary Vilsack for his willingness to try something new today. I believe this hearing will send a strong message to America's farmers and ranchers that their government is listening to them and that we can and will work together on their behalf. Finally, today's third panel includes two nominees to serve on the board of the Farm Credit Administration. I will have more to say about them and the FCA later, but I welcome Mr. Hall and Mr. Tonsecker and their families to this committee. With that, I will recognize our chairman, chairwoman emeritus, uh, Senator Stabenow, for any remarks that she might want to make. 